Hey, welcome in to the first installation of Football 101. Uh, now that we got some preseason games going and some games this year, uh, we're going to every week go through and do this, learn a little bit about football. And I know most of you guys know this stuff already, but uh, but we'll kind of go through some of the things that uh, that you see during the season, some of the plays run, defenses run, and then also uh, look at a couple of players this year. And this is going to be a really exciting team this year. And so uh, for the Seahawks, 2013 was uh, their best year, I thought. This preseason feels a lot like that 2013 season. Uh, I want to talk about a rookie kid today, uh, a defensive tackle in Nazir Jones. And he's a guy that uh, I think that's a really important point of emphasis that the Seahawks had defensively is that they want to get more big plays out of their defensive tackles. And Malik McDowell, who was the first pick that the Seahawks had in the second round, not available because of the ATV accident that he had. So they're trying to get you know that kind of uh, big playmaking out of those D tackles inside, and those those are the guys that line up here in what they call the three or the the one technique. They're they're down inside. It's not a glory position, and uh, it's one of those where you struggle to make big plays. But Nazir Jones in the game against the Chargers that they won 47 to 17, um, or I guess it was a 31 point 48 to 17. He had a couple of really good plays. Some pressure up the middle where he tipped a pass and the defensive tackle picked it off, Tyler Harris. And then also uh, he had a play on a screen pass uh, that I was really impressed with. And so I thought first what we do is go through what a, a screen pass is about. And it's basically, to me, I look at it like a long handoff. So they're trying to create separation. They're trying to influence the defensive linemen to get upfield, the linebackers and free safeties to drop and then try to find a little space to throw just a short pass kind of behind the line of scrimmage and then have a convoy of offensive line linemen leading them up the field. So here's what the what, what it looks like. It looks like a regular pass play at the snap of the ball. All the offensive linemen drop back and pass block. The receivers, they run down the field and it looks like they're running routes which runs the defensive backs off and and the the linebackers and then the Running back sort of steps to the side like he's going to block, and the quarterback takes just a normal dropper if he's in shotgun, he just takes a couple steps back. Simultaneously, here's what happens on a, on a screen play. Simultaneously, the receivers who look like they're running routes, they turn into blockers. The offensive linemen who look like they're just going to do normal pass protection, they let their defensive linemen that they're blocking go and head up field. You'll see them, you know, sometimes only half the line will go, sometimes it'll be all of them, but they're going to go up field and try to get a blocker. And then the running back, he goes from looking like he's a blocker to bleeding into the middle here and trying to catch the pass. And then the quarterback, he just takes an, um, a couple of steps back, just a few uh, steps of retreat to kind of buy himself some time and dump the ball over the defensive linemen's heads. And so what, what that looks like is you try to get, and this is a perfectly executed screenplay, you get these defensive linemen charging hard upfield, so they're all back in this area. You get these guys dropping off here, and they're all back in their zones, and there's this huge amount of space right here where you know, unless your defensive lineman or somebody sniffs out the play, there's a lot of, of room here. And on this particular play that we'll talk about, they actually did get 12 yards, but it was the hustle of Nazir Jones getting downfield and making the tackle. And so defensive linemen and linebackers, they have to sniff this play out. It, it's funny when you, when you uh, if you're a D lineman especially, there's something that's just not quite right. And the first indicator is when you're, you're pass rushing and then all of a sudden the guy lets you go and then the other thing is just sort of the the feel of it and how everybody moves if you're able to sniff it out and and in other words diagnose the play then you can you can blow it up and Nazir Jones didn't exactly blow up the play but he made the tackle downfield so uh, I'll clean this mess up and then we'll look at what Nazir Jones did all right, and just for simplicity's 
sake, I'm just drawn where uh, Nazir Jones was lined up. He was just right over in between the guard and the tackle and getting a pass rush. The thing that he did so well, and I mentioned sniffing out the play, it, it's just kind of a sense for, you feel like, okay, this guy's not really blocking me that hard. And so you want to figure out uh, that that's happening and then get in pursuit. And so as Nazir Jones comes up the field, he feels like this guy's kind of letting him go. Um, the guys that would continue to rush, we used to call those guys pass rushing geniuses because, and it's quite the opposite actually, because you're not going to get a sack on a screenplay if they execute it right. So you've got to feel for this and then get in a trail position and try to get downfield. Nazir Jones on this particular play, he runs what I figure is about 30 yards downfield. And the guys, you know, 6'4", 300 pounds, and when any, anytime you see guys like that hustle, uh, it, it's always impressive. Now, like I said, the, the, he bled through here, caught the pass, and then he was able to get probably about 12 yards out of it. But seeing Nazir Jones in, in the preseason, knowing that he's willing to hustle like he is, uh, running all the way down there and making the tackle, it's pretty impressive for a guy that big. And you see that a lot from Ataba Rubin, is a guy that's over 300 pounds. He always hustles his tail off. So really nice to see. Also uh, got a special place in my heart for number 92. That was my number actually. And uh, I'll tell him that there's a very rich tradition with number 92. There's really not. Uh, Brandon Meebane was a really good player. Wore number 92. But Nazir Jones, awesome kid. Um, whenever you see a rookie, defensive tackle especially, hustling, you know that uh, he is, uh, he's got the message from Pete Carroll. He understands it's a competitive roster and uh, it's, it's one that uh, is going to be tough to make, but that's a great start for him in his first game, tipping a pass for an interception and then hustling downfield on a screenplay.